Yo, apparently the new emerging sunspot is giving me Superman energy. So I'm just going to try to run with it in this episode of Signs in the Heavens. I'm excited because in a solar maximum, I get to be super handsome, super cute, in decent shape, and kissing the most beautiful woman in the world again during a solar maximum. Plus, it'll probably be hilarious. So for now, we wait as the sun slowly starts to wake up. Proto sunspots from the next solar cycle. Do you have a solar telescope? No, I do not. Train it on the sun's eastern limb if you do. Two regions of magnetic activity are emerging right here. Well, you'll have to click on the thing we just looked at. Call them proto sunspots. If the magnetic fields continue to coalesce, it will form dark cores on the sun's surface. The polarity of these regions mark them as members of a new solar cycle 25. In the moment, the crazy story is a comet within a comet. Yeah, we're still talking about Comet Atlas C 2019Y4. It continues to amaze and mystify, even for the people who like to think they know everything. First, in March, it was supposed to become as bright as Venus. It did not. Then, in April, it fell apart. Space Force, Astro Fight Club, question mark. Now, in May, it seems to become a comet within a comet. Why is astronomy always so sexual? This new image from Michael Jägermeister of Huarling, Austria, shows a mini comet with a comet tail in the larger envelope of its green atlas atmosphere. And it looks like a wishbone. So make a wish. I'm going to wish for world peace and an improvement of everything. And a super duper group of friends fun adventures, and the greatest woman ever created by God. All right. You can wish whatever you want to. But yeah, this comet is weird because it's got like a super nucleus or something. Or maybe comets are more complicated than we've come to understand. Clearly, one of the fragments of Atlas's crumbling core has sprung a tail of its own. That's fascinating. Spewing. That's always an interesting word. Like how often you get to use spewing? Rarely in a positive context. This is neutral. An independent plume of gas and dust within the larger hole. Whoa. Animation made by Jägermeister shows that the feature is not just a background star trail. It is moving through space with the comet. And I paused there because I thought of a joke, but then I was like, should I tell this joke? And then no. Yeah, dude, that is that's pretty cool looking. Whatever is happening, and it won't reach perihelion until the 31st, which is, which is pretty much two weeks away. So this story will probably continue to get more 2020 as it goes along. And as your planetary defense commander who likes to take a break from the doom and gloom that is happening in real life every day, all day, 2020, signs in the heavens, though, is a great place to do it. Because I can tell jokes. Yay. What will happen next? Nobody knows, but I imagine... The year will continue to be very 2020. Comet Atlas is plunging, usually that's with the neckline, towards the sun, with a close approach on May 31st inside the orbit of Mercury. Intense solar heating could cause the battered core to fragment further. Maybe we would get a comet within a comet within a comet. That would be crazy, like the little Russian dolls. Activating new internal comets, or the whole assembly could disintegrate to a haze of dust and gas. Stay tuned. This still ranks as my favorite astronomy image for 2020. And though things are wild and crazy, I'm super grateful and getting more and more excited at the activity. The sun continues with not only sunspots, but filaments, solar tornadoes, solar gremlins, and just general solar WTFs. You should stick around for solar maximum at Thor News. It's a pretty fun time. Circumscribed halo. Um, yo, bro. I don't think the sun has genitals, but I guess that's open for de scientific debate, if that's your thing. The crappiness of that joke told by me is still pure evidence that we are in a solar minimum. And if I understand correctly, uh, Supernova 2020 JFO is not only fun to say, but it happened this year, which is why they named it 2020. So we had a whole supernova happen that we photographed and can see 
and is pretty interesting. Right now, I would classify this as one of the most underrated stories of 2020, and I will keep an eye on it for you and us, because we're a team. Man, so first I made Selena Gomez my rep visual representation of Venus, and then I made Billie Eilish, but apparently Elon Musk's big dork energy always gets in the way. Whatever. So that's Venus. And Venus looks like Earth. That looks like the moon. And that looks like a solar eclipse. But they're all Venus. Isn't that crazy? Life is crazy. The in question in comparison. Or maybe. Okay, it's Venus, the moon, and the sun. That makes more sense. But the thin crescent of Venus does look blue and green. I'll take the green. You take the blue. They won't conquer me. And they won't conquer you. Yeah, that is Mercury. Back to the dusk. And Mercury is a very fun and interesting planet to see with your own eyes. I love the planets. These are some cool iridescent clouds, man. And though some people are scared and fear color in the sky I think it is a sign of evolution where maybe we are really changing from 3d to 5d to 7d you never know man and a lot of the color always comes when it's around the Sun of the moon Jupiter Saturn and their moons are a big reason I don't think the earth is flat but the debate rages on because I can't verify it myself I mean I can't put a strap on a jetpack and fly above earth or get on a space shuttle cruiser, drink a margarita, and look down from the atmosphere. Maybe someday, man. But Jupiter and Saturn are lining up in the sky to bring us just an amazing show all year. Supernova 2020. JFO. You know, the creative elements of life always seem to find a way. See this comment right here? No one's really talking about it. You want to know why? Because it's a lemon. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Sweet. That was a good one. Comet Fate Swan. Still kicking in the sky as well. And yeah, you know, things get weirder when the comets are around. And I don't think comet season is over. There's one that's supposed to get to super, super, super brightness. Brighter than Venus in the sky around the end of July. So we'll stay tuned for that as well. Not this one. This is kind of... Fate Swan. And the personal message of Comet Fate Swan apparently for me was I will be playing the Black Keys' Lonely Boy song quite a bit between now and July. Comet Pan Stars T2, this shot from Dallas, Texas. So that's a pretty impressive comet being shot from D Town. There's a totally blue green blue aspect to Venus, man. That's so crazy. There's oh pink in there. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Oh no, now I sound creepy. And yes, I do think a solar minimum provides and presents more solar wind, which creates more auroras. Those auroras then go into the core of the planet, causing the planet to grow, and we get more earthquakes and um, volcanoes, plus gas giants on the same side. It's pretty much like an undisclosed scientific fact that when you get all the gas giants, meaning Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, on the same side of the sun, uh, then you don't get a lot of balance and you get more earthquakes and volcanoes. So that is what's on the books for the next two to three years as Jupiter swings back around to provide us with more balance in this world. We can pretty much handle anything that comes our way as long as we work together, but apparently that's not in the script yet. I still hold out total faith and total optimism because God is great. And you're pretty cool, too. I was about to say, please enjoy your weekend, but it's a Monday. Time is weird. Technically, every day in May is May Day. And so, I want you to have a great week. I love you. And take whatever good moods and good energy you have to do and think and dream cool stuff. And create, all right? I love you. You are special. And the other reason I keep doing what I do. And... Hopefully life and Thor news will just continue to get better. I'm pretty sure we have some bumpy patches through the summer up until the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. All right, peace out. God bless everyone. Stay cool.
May the force be with you and let us live long and prosper together forever.